Hey everyone, and welcome to our update on September 26th, 2023. So, Storm Agnes is barreling its way in, and as a result, we have warnings galore over Ireland. We have a total of five warnings on the island, with further warnings at sea. So we've got two orange warnings for winds and for rain, and they both cover the counties of Cork, Kerry, and Waterford. So it is the south of the country that is likely to get the um, to bear the brunt of the storm. So the rainfall warning says that spells of heavy and occasionally intense rain combines with very strong and gusty winds. Impacts are difficult travel conditions, so there'll be a lot of spray on the roads, flooding, as well as poor visibility. Um, valid tomorrow from 9am till 3pm. The wind warning says that very strong and gusty southerly winds with some severe and damaging gusts. Possible impacts are coastal flooding, difficult travel conditions, power outages and fallen trees. Now obviously with fallen trees, it is September, trees are in full leaf and that makes strong winds even more hazardous. Um, compared to strong winds in, say, January or February. And, you know, the leaves act as sails, making the branches and trees move more, making them more prone to um, falling or just branches and debris flying around as a result. And then we've got two yellow warnings. Um, first of all, a rain warning for Carlow, Dublin, Kilkenny, Wexford, Wicklow, Cork, Kerry and Waterford. This is basically South Leinster and East Munster. And it says heavy rain on Wednesday with the impacts such as difficult travel conditions, flooding and poor and um, poor visibility. So valid tomorrow from 7am till Thursday at midnight. And also to round it all off, a yellow wind warning for Leinster, Munster and Galway. So very windy. Tomorrow with very strong and gusty southerly winds veering westerly later on. Impacts are flooding on the coast, hazards, tra hazards um, travel conditions and power outages and fallen trees. Valid tomorrow from seven. Valid from tomorrow at seven a.m. till midnight tomorrow. So be aware of the warnings. Also, Northern Ireland has a warning for winds that's yellow. And then there's several warnings for, for the marine areas. So here we are. Now, the radar from today is, is like this. You can see that, we, that this morning we saw an active front in the east. That clears away, op opening the doors to the air from the Atlantic, as well as showers. Um, in the morning, they were mainly confined to the southwest and west, but through the afternoon, they got more widespread, especially through the southwest, the north, and the Midlands. We saw this cluster here move through the Midlands and really intensify around Leash, Kildare, Westmeath, Longford, Meath, Kilkenny, Carlow, that sort of area. And it formed an area of thundery showers pushing from Kilkenny through Dublin. Also, some some more showers pushing towards the northwest by the evening time. So, some storms over Dublin by 5pm. And this cluster just moved off towards the Irish Sea into the early evening, dragging its trailing showers with it, while some more downpours pushed towards Ulster. And some thundery downpours were recorded there as well. This batch pushed away towards the UK. And in general, things are... Uh, Things are, things are dying off now. I do want to look at the the latest satellite imagery. You can see that Storm Agnes is really rapidly forming now. But look at this look at this satellite imagery. Isn't that amazing? This hook is forming, and if if we if we put it forward here, you can see if it was load, please. Thank you. This low is routing right for Ireland. Um, we can, can go this way, and that hook 
is forming and this massive cloud has got wind, rain and all that sort of stuff. Joy. Also, just let you know that yesterday evening we we, we we had a video going through all the models and we went through the track of Storm Agnes in detail as well as the wind gusts that each model was showing. So please do watch that. And also, let's say either tonight or tomorrow morning, we'd have that again coming up because obviously we're now 24 hours ahead, meaning that that there is definitely a lot more confidence in the forecast. So this is the EKV 5 day forecast. You can see that this that this cluster of showers in the east, some thundery, clears away. And tonight we'll start off dry, but some cloud will advance from the south, and that is preceding heavy rain moving over the over the uh, whole country by about ten a.m. Some bright colours towards the south, but by um, mid morning to late morning, big downpours there, and we sort of get this more fragmented rain here. But that will be intense if it hits. Um, could possibly be a little squall line there, possibly. Um, it all goes away before the centre of the low does barrel in tomorrow evening, bringing stormy weather. After that episode, on Thursday we see a, we see an active front come in again. We we see that squall line marked out by this red line here, um, and that does clear off to the east by Friday morning, and Friday is a day of sunshine and showers. And so it starts briefly drier and brighter there, but even so, by Saturday, yet another feature comes in from the west. So there's no less up in sight on this model, um, but 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 by Sunday we're seeing brighter weather. The temperature side of forecast is like this. So today was quite cool, but also do remember that we're seeing a step change in temperatures now. Meaning that, you know, the temperatures we saw like in late August and and early September of like 20 Celsius, they are no longer the average. We're now seeing an average of the mid-teens. So th throughout September, the average has really tumbled. So one thing that I guess I'm actually struggling to get used to saying while doing these forecasts is that this is actually around average. I keep saying it's cool, but really it's just average. So average average today, but it but it does feel cool in the breeze. Um into tonight then we see a um quite a that is chilly in the north, okay? It is below ten degrees. Um but elsewhere up above ten degrees towards thirteen in the south into tomorrow we see a warmer day pushing possibly on that warm on that warm sector there getting towards 17 degrees but elsewhere close to average around 14 or 14 or 14 or 14 or 15 degrees into tomorrow night temperatures drop away and about 10 to 14 so quite miles into uh, Thursday, highest temperatures again around average about 13 to 16 degrees, warmest in the east. Thursday night, Friday morning, a bit chilly, a bit chilly, um, about 8 to 11. Friday afternoon, a bit warmer, quite nice day I think, especially in the sunshine, about 14 to 17 degrees. Um, should feel quite nice in the sun. In, in, in Saturday morning, that is quite a chilly night, 7 7 to 10 degrees and into Saturday afternoon about 11 to 14 before we see actually higher temperatures on Saturday nights compared to those at Saturday on Saturday in the afternoon so actually Saturday night 3 midnight 3 a.m. in the east high teens very balmy in the west low teens and this is Sunday Quite warm in the east and southeast, but but towards the north and west, it's a bit cooler. 
This is the uh, NAO index observed and GEFS forecasts. If we can see that this is the ensemble mean here, this black line, and the red lines are the ensembles. So you can see that in general, into October, it's lifting towards more neutral levels, possibly showing that the Azores eye may try and start ridging in towards us. This is the GFS 12Z, so we can go through it, we can see some so you can see acne is burning in tomorrow. Um, later on, we'll see this in close-up form, and we'll see exactly where it's going. Um, that clears off, and on Thursday we see that trough come in again, followed by Friday's ridge, and Saturday we see um, an attempt at trying to try things out, but there is a low to the west, and that barrels in, and kills it off, into Sunday, we and it's Monday, another attempt at a ridge, this could be more successful, but I guess not by the 4th, we're back into this westerly winds, another attempt there, on the 6th, and that actually is more successful than the ones preceding it, but still, by the 7th and the 8th, in comes the low pressure and the wet and, and the wet stuff. And it just stays that way up until the uh, up until the 12th of the month. Quite cool then as well. Really autumnal. The ECM, WF. Uh, so I don't want to deal with this every single time. I'm wasting my time. Okay, so again, it's from Agnes tomorrow, followed by that more shallow low on Thursday, that little kink, that, that, that kink in the ice bars there on Thursday evening. Um, into Friday, that little ridge does build up, bring a drier day before that little low does push it away. And Sunday sees westerly winds, Monday a brief attempt at, at a ridge again, and then that low just comes in and, and just boils it. Though after it, we're trying to ridge the high end. The high is trying desperately to come back, but it is not really doing so doing that so well. So again, very similar with the UK Met run. Uh, again, Saturday we see that ridge, but no, it doesn't last long. It is pushed away by that low pressure, and into Monday and Tuesday. Actually, on this run, this is more um, strong here. This is essentially located and is trying to block this off and is doing so quite well. This is the gem. That's the gem. So we can see Agnes barreling in and after that it's westerly. And just to say we, we see a brief ridge and then that lower low comes in right there. Just put just 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 shunting it aside and to next week that little ridge just come in and actually on this run tries to do it quite nicely but doesn't last long we get more of that stuff in from the west that we're all very used to um in this is the icon but you know i love rain i love rain um i do love the rain actually so magnus tomorrow followed by further troughs in from the west on thursday uh into saturday we see that little ridge trying but that little that little kink there in the, in the ice bars that is that is that little low with all the rain that just that just barges in and into monday and tuesday um which tries to build in and by the fourth it's doing so and the and finally the arpege looking like this okay i beat the ads this time to the hover i beat the ads to the hover but I beat the ads to the button for hovering. And anyway, after this, we do see that ridge on Saturday and into Sunday, we see a deep low trying to come in. Anyway, there's a trend, a slight trend that October may see high pressure attempting to come in from the Southwest. Just speculation, but the NAO, you know, it is coinciding with that bump in pressure. So, you know, wait and see. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.